I went through some, some uh, articles, that is uh, research articles on uh, substance abuse. Out of that I chose to talk uh, to you about methamphetamine. Methamphetamine, the street name is ICE, commonly here. And they call speed and various other names also in other countries, in addition to ICE. And Sri Lanka, it is mainly they call ICE. So I got to know uh, from, uh, from police officers that most of these uh, bus drivers are under the influence of ICE. And then I also recently <coughs> saw some, uh, the, uh, the drive, bus driver was taking something like uh, crystal like thing. I suspect it could be ICE or methamphetamine. So that I, I thought uh, they must, must be a lot of, uh, it's a huge problem, widespread problem. Just those are cases, studies like that, the only several incidents I saw and some others observation. We don't have proper data on that. But uh, we, sh we I, I thought of reading a Canadian system, how they control and the Canadian data. So Canada has a very good system of controlling uh, methamphetamine. And they are the... Uh, they use uh, uh, the highest punishments. That is, the possession of ice or methamphetamine is the punishment uh, can be uh, imprisonment for seven years, up to seven years. And the, if somebody is doing trafficking, uh, the or manufacturing, producing methamphetamine, then it, they they can. Uh, going to lifelong imprisonment. So that's, that's very severe punishments are there. So the, uh, they, they still, with that, there's increase in uh, finding of uh, methamphetamine, probably because they are doing a lot of raids. Um, and the, uh, still the Canada has a very good uh, uh, in prevalence rate. Last year prevalence rate, when we compare it with the uh, some other world figures. The world figures shows uh, Canada has a very low. They don't want to get their country into a substance addict people's country. So that uh, it's, it's very genuine and they don't find somebody with uh, some fault due, due to their some uh, punishment or uh, they, they find the real people. They don't give for. They don't put for false, uh, uh, false witnesses. They don't give. So they find real people, real possessions, real traffickings, real productions. Not just a complaint and various uh, manufactured, various uh, artificial created stories, and they don't put people into uh, jail or punishment uh, without without any clear evidence of uh, possession, genuine. So that genuineness is there, so that we can find they, they are very good uh, system. So what they do is, uh, they, they see some possessions uh, out of uh, uh, the total number of uh, drug possessions uh, they got last year, so about 9,000 amphetamine, the possession, and they, the, uh, then the trafficking, they found incidences of about uh, uh, 20 or no, 50, about trafficking 50, 50 per 100,000, that much. Oh, that, that is very low. And even uh, producing about uh, 40, uh, 40 per 100,000. So that is very low. The, so the, how they have controlled this is by uh, those punishments and they do a lot of raids to find uh, and also possession, all those, they check. And the other one they do is to uh, check in the people whether they consume these things using water tests, they, what they call mouth water, mouth water maybe they wash the mouth and check that rapidly and then the it, it's then they do urine test also 
urine test is a, they need only 3 ml the urine test take uh, uh, 5 minutes to check but the problem with uh, methamphetamine is uh, somebody may have taken the drug 3 days before I cannot say this person was at the moment presently taking the, this uh, methamphetamine so the, the so that they, they do the test of that mouth water test and also blood test blood test is going to give a clear evidence that at this moment this fellow has this much of methamphetamine in the blood so they they have good test so that that's the one one thing that we can we can do to to see the whether this fellow is consuming together with possession and then other one what we can do is uh, stop production it's very difficult but they are doing they they don't uh, there are certain ingredients containing certain uh, syrups medicinal syrups they can in such a way they can synthesize methamphetamine i didn't tell at the beginning that it is a synthesizing one it's not naturally available drug it is synthesizing it is producing by various processes so the very cheap ingredients are available in these syrups so they these medicinal syrups and so that they 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 try to control that because it's a medicine they have to allow that medicine and also they have to prevent overuse or abuse so that what they are doing is they initially they started only the uh, pharmacist can give those one. then he can see the but the problem is uh, he can go the person can go to various pharmacies and then from various pharmacies he can collect more the, now what is the trend is now Australia, New Zealand, I think Canada will go into that, USA will go into that. That is, they are going to uh, get give that, uh, me, 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 that ingredients containing medicinal syrup only by doctor's prescription. Then the doc, doctor's prescription is monitored. That is very important thing in, the, in Canada, it's called pharma, they go to pharmacare. The pharmacare is a website where this, all the people's are registered, patient is registered, his prescription is registered, drugs are registered. So each and every drug he use or he or she use is monitored everywhere. So he cannot go to this pharmacy and then go to another pharmacy and like that, that is going to show this fellow has gone to various pharmacies and he's taking more, more drugs like that. So that the, the there's a very good system of controlling. Even the doctor is responsible not to give too much. Just to the, for the medicine, but not to give too much. So that, that way, uh, we can uh, control that. We, in Sri Lanka, we need a system of that. Get somebody's identity card or some other number. And then they can uh, give only the, to the doctor's prescription. But doctor's prescription also should enter into a... Uh, system in the software like Pharmacare in Canada, the system or the pharmacists need that system, website, and that that's that's the way. It, those are very easy things that we don't think of, and the the officers are not care. Of. They have to do something ex go extra, go extra, and uh, rather than signing and doing various these things, they should go extra and implement such a system. When we are, we are going to get that system? Are we going to just stay for years, decades? No, we need need that. That way they have control a lot of drugs. Even, even uh, sleeping tablets, they control. Antibiotics, they control. And they, this, especially the substance addiction, they have control in this way. And I was telling in another video about the methadone. But by That methadone is a, uh, also monitored and it is entered in those systems so they methadone also they cannot abuse instead of taking heroin that day by that way i'm thinking that if we can control the person's use we can reduce the market the market and drug abuse so methamphetamine why they are taking they are taking it is because it has um, a stress relief effect and attention attention and they get euphoria, that is they have 
for then they get the physical strength feeling euphoric feeling physical strength feeling and less stress the stress and more attention feeling so that it is ideal for these uh, drivers because they can have better attention on his driving and they don't feel tired those and they can they don't feel sleepy so then they they feel euphoric they don't feel fatigue they feel euphoric so that's the ideal drug. that's why it is very much famous must i think that so that but the consequence is the two pedestrians and for the other vehicles going in the roads they, they can face with accidents there may be lot of accidents and the, the accidents and the, due to those things it is not monitored even the either the those two children uh, fall from the or oh, they jump to fly from that uh, high uh, high rise in building i do, i don't think jmos has done any urine test or blood test for to check whether they have uh, taken the methamphetamine this is more very likely uh, various uh, drugs substances they can check but they are, they may not have done if it is done then they can police can find what is the source what is the source of that also they can further investigate into that just telling this fellow of hell or fall or suicide or homicide or something like that. not that the checking whether there is drug use that is very important in this so so other one is that uh, uh, so the connect like cocaine ice this the last it the effect the last for about 2 12 hours or more because on the want to take the drug ice it take 12 hours to get to the 50% but in the cocaine it take only hours so that it is last long so they have that effect even that high feeling high feeling is that they can feel forty that's also they have for about 12 hours after taking drug so that is very dangerous to take ice that we have to somehow control this taking ice that is taken even in schools in in canada also after 15 years they had a risk of getting that around 20 24 years is much more but they after 15 they can take they i saw there's a reduction in the 15 years around 15 to 20 years but the, there's reduction in 20 25 years also i think uh, because of the young people are not entering into drug this uh, substance addiction stimulant addiction like method of meth methamphetamine addiction at the moment is a possibility but overall drug uh, methamphetamine use is increase in canada even with this type of measures but we are nowhere in the checking we are not we don't have any statistics we don't have any system to monitor we see lot of uh, observations that they they are taking these things it's like just taking beetles i think they are just taking the beetles they are taking this much so it's very dangerous our, for our country we need to safeguard our country uh, we need to safeguard our people and the, we should have done some discipline also so thank you very much for watching this video